The storm of the earthquakes in early March in the Reckoners Peninsula of Iceland didn't end up in an eruption, and we are trying to understand why this has happened. The earliest uh, eruption that we have in this uh, volcanic system of sourcing it was in the December 2023. The tremors went out of the charts. The charts could not cover all of that. Then came the January 2024, and the eruption was quite powerful. This one actually burnt some of the houses uh, in the north of the Grindavik. And then the one in the February was short, powerful, but again, something significant. And the one that we had in early March, and I will show you now, was quite tiny. It was almost like a needle poking through this uh, ground bedrock. I couldn't make it through. When we compare the uh, number of the earthquakes as a swarm on the chart, the December one was quite big. Then we come to the uh, January one, largest probably one of those things that we have seen. You can see that number of the cluster of the earthquakes is huge. Then the February one was a small but intense. And the one from the March, again, was something feeble, small, tiny, didn't make it true. Mike Mander de Swartzengi is adding is around 9 million cubic meters now every day. We have around 0 0.4 or about half a million cubic meter added to that. It couldn't make it to the surface. The pressure was not enough probably. So when the Swartzengi reservoir under the Swartzengi power plant fills up, it has to flow through a system of horizontal seals towards the Sundunka craters in the east and through a dike, which is a fault line uh, filled with the previous magma, rise up and erupt. In this case, something was blocking it. It probably didn't have enough pressure. At the same time, it could not melt the previously solidified uh, magma in, this, in the seal or make up new pathway for it, well, itself. And earthquakes could not actually create that path, pathway for it. So something was blocking. It didn't have the pressure also, so it just stopped. It just solidified, it stopped in that place, couldn't go any further, and was trapped practically in that sense. At the depth of five kilometers we are talking about, that's the depth we saw in the earthquakes. We expected that we have an eruption by the date of 20, 20th, after the magma accumulation from the February eruption. But what we had yesterday was just some of the magma from the sword sink was lost, so we had a reduction into the dike and, and the seal. It couldn't make it up. We expect that if it follows the pattern of the first uh, earthquake pattern that we had in the Grindavik, it may do it in the day 29th after the start of the mag uh, magma accumulation under Swartzengi, which makes the date of the 5th of March. From that time onward, they may, we may have an eruption. So until then... You can go on and sleep practically, what I'm still trying to say to you. 5th of March and onward, it may erupt again. Until then, we have to wait and see. It could be very quick. It can take only less than probably 30 minutes from the moment of this earthquake swarm to the eruption at the surface. It has already covered some of the distance, so it's ready to erupt.